Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. This week we are talking about a no makeup makeup look. So I haven't filmed this on YouTube before and I think it's really crucial because a lot of you on Instagram and TikTok have been asking about it. This is for my moms on the go who only have like five minutes to get ready. It's for the people who don't have much time before work or school and just wanna get going. I do this look when I have to run a lot of errands and I'm busy for the day. So it's like a 6 a.m. wake up and I have like two seconds to do my makeup. This is the go-to. And I know it looks like, oh my gosh, but she looks like she's still put together. That's the whole point. And in this video, you guys can go ahead and sub out some steps. Like if you're like, hey, that's too much. I don't want, I'll skip this step. That's fine. It'll still end up looking great. So if you want to see how I got this, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so as usual, we are starting off with skin prep. We're gonna go in with our sunscreen. I love the glow screen. And we are also going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and it's a hydrating primer. So starting off with the glow screen as normal. So I like to put a good amount of this. You're supposed to put two finger lengths of, um, I think it's two finger lengths of sunscreen on your face. So I really, felt that it was important to do a video like this because I know a ton of you guys don't have the time to do the crazy routine every single day. And I completely get that. I have my days as well. I know you guys are used to seeing me full glam all the time, but that's not always the case. A lot of times I do stuff like this where I'm just like on the go, if it's like grocery shopping or running errands very quickly and you're up early, this is perfect for that. I'm gonna quickly color correct with the Visanti Liquid VO2. And I'm just gonna pop that on right here. So this is the type of look that takes me around, this is such a particular number, but like seven minutes. And I can do this really fast. It's gonna be a little bit slowed down because I'm gonna explain each step. Um, you guys know the importance of color correction already, and I've talked about this before, but it definitely helps neutralize any darkness. So I'm gonna just spot conceal. This is really important because tinted moisturizer I'm about to use is not known for its coverage. So just keep that in mind. So I'm blending this out with a damp beauty blender and not everyone needs to color correct guys, by the way, like it's not something for everyone. Only if you have hyperpigmentation would you need to color correct like I am doing. But as you can see, like the darkness around my eyes is very prominent and it's gonna look almost like I have a smoky eye on when I leave my eyelids like this because I do get eczema on my eyelids and it left behind a, some hyperpigmentation, which is darkness. So, which we're okay with, but I'm just saying like, that's gonna be the vibe. I'm not gonna put concealer on my eyelids today. And of course I came with the brows pre-done. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer. So this is a new formula that I have been loving. Oh wait, I honestly might've taken too much in that area that I've been loving. And I've been wanting to try applying it with my hands. I don't know if this is gonna be screwed up or if this is gonna be okay. I don't usually like applying things with my hands, but I just wanted to test it for the sake of the people who wanna just quickly do stuff with their hands and go. Actually, it's working, but I feel like I could get a little bit better coverage with a brush, which I think I might switch. But hey, if you're one of those people that just likes to like my mom is like that, she just does everything with her hands. Yeah, so I like to just, I'm finishing everything off and blending it all together with a brush. And I think we're good to go. So you'll notice that the coverage here is not crazy at all. And um, that's just because we are dealing with very light coverage with this tinted moisturizer. Could bring it down to the neck. I have eczema on my neck as well and it kind of has some issues. So I've been loving, as you guys know, I've been living for the glow lately. So this is a glowy product. So moving on to concealer, we're gonna pop on our NYX Bear With Me Concealer. This is, this is also very glowy. It sits so nicely on your skin. And keep in mind, I have oily skin. These products wear, they have the wear power and stay power for sure. So I'm just popping this on. I'm just speeding this up so you don't have to wait through it, but you know the vibes, it's the usual. Now that we pop this baby on, I'm in the shade 10, I forgot to mention. We're just gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. So for me, I really needed this, not too brightening. It's providing some coverage 
much needed coverage that I really wanted some coverage under the eyes and those specific highlighting areas. So this is giving you that. And I find that when we're blending with a beauty blender, I promise like it takes two, like it takes two seconds and it moves very, very quickly. You could also use your hands for this if you're that type of person. Again, like my mom literally uses her hands for every single step of the way and she gets it done. Like it looks great at the end. So we all, as long as you're happy with the outcome, that's all I want. Like it doesn't matter if you used a brush, you used a beauty blender, your hands, everyone has different techniques that work for them. Not one of those artists that will judge you for whatever method you used. I'm here for it all, to be honest. Okay, so the one area that I'm gonna contour because I physically cannot live without cream contouring this area is my nose. Um, the rest of the face, I don't really care. I can use a powder to do that. But my nose is a different story. I'm very particular about it. You can skip this. I know that we're talking about people in a rush. So like cream contouring is like, hello, I thought you were in a rush. What are you up to? But, <laughs> but like when I'm in a rush, I can still get this done. And I, I feel like that nose contour has to be on point. You can do this with powder as well, but I just prefer the look of it with, um, with the, the cream products instead. And I'm using the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade medium. I'm just blending, blending, blending. There we go. And like, you could just do it really softly, like where you almost completely blend it away even, but as long as you know that it's there just a little bit, so now we're ready to set everything in place and you can bake, you can lightly set, you could do whatever you want. I'm going to just bake a little bit under the eye as I normally would. And I'm picking up the Laura Mercier translucent honey powder. I love this powder. I can't, I literally can't live without it. So I'm just pressing it into the skin basically all around at this point. Um, the nose is necessary. There we go and everywhere else that you need it. If you have dry skin, you don't have to bake or anything like this. Okay, we're ready to bronze. So I'm grabbing my NARS Summer Solstice Duo. I love this so much and just an angled brush. So we're gonna warm up the outer edges of the face, pretty much where the sun would hit, but I'm also kind of using it in contour areas as well. And we're just warming up the borders. And as you can see, this is such a nice glowy summer look. I love tinted moisturizer. I feel like people use tinted moisturizers a lot more in the summer just because they wanna, they wanna go and be on the scene just quick, one and done. And then we can also take the highlighter in there. I love using the highlighter in here when I'm tanned and I'm already getting a little bit tanned as it is for the summer. So I'm just taking a bit. You can skip the highlight if you have time for it. You can do it, I don't know. It's up to you. I'm gonna put a little bit on. I like to put it on the brow bone and then just bring it down right here and right here. Anywhere where you want a little bit of glow. And again, it just looks so natural. Look at the colors coming together. But again, guys, you could see through to certain imperfections on my skin and that's okay. That's, that's a part of the tinted moisturizer life. You're just getting used to your skin and you're feeling comfortable in your skin. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I was younger, all I would do is wear full coverage and I was not comfortable wearing a lighter coverage tinted moisturizer or anything like that. I had to work my way up to being comfortable in this, this level of coverage or being comfortable with no makeup or stuff like that. So it's really about loving your skin. And I always say that makeup is about enhancing what you already have. And I really feel like this type of makeup does that. It's really light and it's fresh and glowy and it's just enhancing your natural beauty and your natural features. Having a couple blushes because you know, like I physically, there was no way that me as the blush addict, I could have chosen just one blush. So we're choosing the Glowish um, Caring Coral and then this is a Huda Beauty and then a MAC Naturally Flawless. So MAC Naturally Flawless is pretty, like it's pretty basic in terms of, it's just like a warm peach, but it won't do too much on my skin tone by itself, which is why I felt that I wanted to mix it. So now you can see we're getting a little bit of action, cheeky action. That's, wait, that sounded bad. <laughs> we're getting some cheek glow is what I'm trying to say. There we go. And like, I like rocking, a lot of times that I have this type of makeup, my hair happens to be up because I just like throw my hair up and I'm ready to move on. You know those vibes. So 
and I like to put a good amount of blush on. You guys already know this about me um, because blush does fade throughout the day too. So I'm like, and especially on a day where I'm wearing all this like tinted moisturizer and stuff, I want it to be kind of the star of the show. Like your skin is the star on days like this. And I think the blush definitely helps with that. Okay, so I'm using NYX Lip Liner in Coffee. We're ready to finish off this look. I think it's taken longer because I... I've been a little bit chatty. I can't help it, I love talking to you guys. <laughs> what do you want me to do? And then I'm grabbing Huda Beauty. I crushed this the other day in the lid because I wasn't watching. I'm so sad, this is one of my favorites. Angel Cream Lipstick. Such a pretty pink shade. I love this. And then we're gonna grab our Mac Stack Mascara and then pop that on. Of course, this will change the whole vibe. Mascara changes everything. And literally after this, you are ready to go. Okay, can we just take a moment to talk about the difference that just one layer of mascara versus none makes? Like this eye looks so much bigger and way more open versus this side, crazy. Okay, I'm gonna come back with my mascara done. Okay guys, we are back and my mascara is all done. I'm gonna finish off the look with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte and we're just going in. And the skin is glowy and beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. It is super easy, anyone can do it. You can skip some of the steps that I did. This is still a little bit extra for like a really natural kind of person. You don't have to do this many steps, but you know, I'm a little bit extra as we all know, even on days like this where I want a no makeup makeup look, but this is my true no makeup makeup look and I'm loving all of the products that I use today. All of the details will be in the caption below. If you guys wanna go ahead and check out some of my recent videos, I will link them right here. I recently filmed a video on my favorite brushes and I feel like everyone keeps asking about that. So go ahead and check those out. And I post every single Sunday. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you wanna see next. I will see you next week.